coming up, Iowa City businesses winterize their services. And later, the University of Iowa baseball team strikes up an unlikely friendship. Welcome to DITV Now, your flash update on the biggest headlines coming out of the Daily Iowa Newsroom. I'm your host, Ashley Wheel. And I'm Lauren Johnson. UI classes will move entirely online following the holiday next week. This comes at a time when cases are growing again. Yesterday, the UI announced 55 new cases. With classes moving online, many students have had to decide whether to stay on campus or move home for the remainder of the semester. DITV's Elizabeth Neruda talked to students to see how the increase is impacting their decision. Even though students are able to stay on campus and in the residence halls during the holiday break and through virtual instruction, students still have to wonder where the safest place to spend the next few weeks are. With Thanksgiving break right around the corner and COVID cases on the rise around Iowa, it's unclear what campus will look like during the break and after for virtual instruction for the rest of the semester. There's not really a point coming back. Everything's going to be online, so might will just be online. For many students, the choice came down to their living situation on campus or whether they have responsibilities in Iowa City to attend to. I will be here for most of it only because I work in the dining hall, so just to keep making money and working, I will be here. Before the break, many students are opting to get tested for COVID-19 before they see possible at-risk family members. My father is immunocompromised as well as my grandma, so just to keep them safe, I wanted to make sure that I was not going to pass that on to them. From Iowa City, Elizabeth Neruda, DITV. Colder temperatures are pushing people inside. The Iowa City Downtown District is helping restaurants encourage visitors to continue eating outdoors. The City of Iowa City and the Iowa City Downtown District are providing a $1,750 grant for businesses to winterize their patio space. As it gets colder and people are, you know, um, needing to go indoors to eat or drink just for, for, for the weather, we're trying to provide an opportunity for them to stay outdoors in the cafe setting to continue that mitigation and um, uh, support of a you know, fresh air environment. It will take some research on the designer's part to find the best way to do this. We're looking at um, different types of materials that can, can withstand some of those winds and um, also uh, seeing, just seeing what, export, um, uh, seeing what the opportunities are because uh, it takes a fair amount of research to understand. The goal is to make downtown a stronger destination in the coming years and entice visitors to enjoy the outdoor spaces year round. The application closes November 30th. After approval, renovations can begin. An unlikely friendship has formed between the Iowa baseball team and 13-year-old Andrew Jenkins. Jenkins met the team this fall while recovering from a bone marrow transplant at the Children's Hospital. Jenkins was born with bone marrow failure, which weakens his immune system. I kind of saw him in the stands and kind of, kind of noticed him coming around practice a little bit more than, than what he had been in the past. And I just kind of took it, took it upon myself to get to know him a little bit more. Although Jenkins is the baseball team's biggest fan, the players don't quite see him that way. He's not necessarily like a little fan of mine, I guess. I think he's more, I think of him more as a friend and more as a little brother. After months of recovery, Jenkins is back home and supporting his favorite baseball team, the Hawkeyes. Iowa winter is holding off another day. Get outside before the chilly weather arrives. The high today is 68 degrees with a low of 39. Thanks for tuning in to DITV Now. We'll be back tomorrow with the latest on the University of Iowa, Iowa City, and Hawkeye Nation. From Iowa City, I'm Ashley Wheel. And I'm Lauren Johnson. Have a great day!